Why do we set goals for ourselves? Is it because we always need to have something to strive for? Or perhaps we believe that getting closer to these goals will allow us to realize our version of success and happiness. Whatever our goals may be, we need to be able to approach them with a true sense of focus in order to turn them into reality. When it comes to setting goals for ourselves, we tend to have several things that may spark our interest, but we rarely ever focus on them enough to actually give ourselves a chance at being good at them. This is especially true throughout your 20s, where you toy with the idea of doing multiple things because you may have some sort of minor curiosity in them. But you never seem to be able to figure out what it is that you are actually willing to commit yourself to. To help with this, I want to share with you a technique that I've used that has helped me gain a better grasp on the things that I want to focus my energy on. This is Warren Buffett's 525 rule. We all know that Warren Buffett is perhaps the greatest investor of all time. He's made over $80 billion through his company Berkshire Hathaway and smart investments in businesses like Apple, Coca-Cola, and Bank of America. But he wouldn't have been able to become so successful if not for his strong focus on the things that mattered to him. The legend goes that in order to achieve all the things that he wanted to, personally and professionally, he made a list of 25 things that mattered to him in his pursuit of a successful life. So I decided to do just this. The items on this list can range from creating a business to learning a new language or instrument to spending enough time with family. After spending some time really thinking about this, I finished the list. But here's where it gets interesting. I had to circle the top five items on the list that I wanted the most. Now this was tricky because when you're staring at a list of 25 things that you seem to care about, it's not easy to pick just five. But if you're doing this, you have to force yourself to circle your top five. The 20 items that were left became a list of items to avoid. The reason for this is because spending time on these 20 items that were a lower priority was only taking away time and effort from the top five that mattered most. For everyone, the top five can be different. Maybe you want to be able to start a YouTube channel or a podcast, or you want to be able to build a strong circle of friends. And all of that is fine. This is merely a rule that tells you not to bite off more than you can chew. In many ways, this makes sense because excelling and succeeding at things that are important to you requires time and dedication. The 525 rule taught me that concentration of effort on a few things is important. And anything that takes away from that is a distraction. In the case of whatever your craft is, it requires countless hours of repeated work for you to become a master at it. This is exactly where Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule of practice comes into play. In order for you to truly become great at something, you have to dedicate time to it. So I implore you to be patient with yourself and put in the time to achieve mastery at something. Once you identify your 20 uncircled items as a distraction, I hope that you'll feel like you can stop worrying about them because they won't become as important anymore. This list of uncircled 20 items is what may have added unnecessary stress and guilt to your life. But once you understand that they are not the most important things to you, you'll be able to set them aside completely. This was something that gave me a way of channeling my attention towards a few things and not sweating the fact that I'm not doing all the other things that seem marginally interesting to me. Now I know that the only way to really know what you like doing is by trying different things and figuring out what works best for you. But my recommendation is to double down on a few things at a time. And if your interest in something wanes, then perhaps you can revisit it later. But at any given time, have an idea of what your top five priorities are and work towards them, fostering them with everything that you've got. So I wanna challenge you to make your own 525 list. And let me know if that was harder or easier than you thought in the comments below. If you like this video, drop a like below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'll be making a lot more just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.